Hi all, uh, hope you are doing good. Uh, today we will be discussing uh, what is the role center and uh, uh, if, a, if my business uh, daily activities are different than what I am assigned to right now in the role center, uh, how can I get it changed? So let's try to understand what's a role center page. Uh, just a brief history. The role center page was were introduced uh, with Microsoft Dynamics Snap 2009, and uh, uh, the, the basic idea or the concept behind role center page we'll see in a while. Uh, so for the demo, I'll be using Microsoft Dynamics Snap 2016, uh, but the steps and uh, the sequence of the steps remain same uh, for any B2 uh, 13, 13 R2, 15, or even 2009. So uh, let's try to understand uh, what is a role center page and how, how it helps a user. So the role center page is actually tailored uh, based on the user need and the activities uh, which he need to perform as a part of his job in his company. It has uh, content uh, with the presentation style that is uh, optimized for a specific user profile so right now as you can see this is the landing page which I get when I pop up my Microsoft Dynamics nav so this is called the role center page now right now the system is assuming that I am a sales order processor which is set by default in the system somewhere uh, and it's showing me the uh, view which is actually uh, for a sales order processor so the activities uh, are related to a person who will be responsible for the sales order uh, in his job so it gives you a quick overview of the business performance with the queues so we call them queues uh, these uh, uh, graphical symbols and as you can see uh, it tells me on uh, as soon as I pop my screen that there are 23 sales order which are open uh, where there are no codes which are open but there are some sales order which are ready to ship and uh, there are 14 which are delayed and in the same way there are others so uh, and it gives you the data which is live from the system uh, that's uh, pretty uh, you know self-explanatory and a user can drill down the data uh, whenever required so user can if you want to see which all order which are uh, you know delayed let's say so you can click on it and uh, the system will take him to the uh, page where it will show you the filter view of sales order which are delayed so in the same way the actions uh, on the page are actually tailored based on the user activities or the daily actions which a user does so a sales operator is uh, normally target to the sales order what are the sales codes um, are there any sales invoices blanket sales order what are my customers he don't care about the vendors because his activities are more toward the sales in the same way there are other menus like home and post documents which actually gives him a feel and he don't need to uh, you know uh, go through the whole department menu to figure out where things are and on the top ribbon you can ag again see there are reports which are related to the uh, sales activities and there are journals discounts and everything now that all look nice but uh, what if if I'm uh, the account manager or my role in my company is of accounting so uh, for an account manager uh, the information which he's seeing on his screen uh, is of no use he again need to go to the department and that then navigate to the financial management and you know then keep on searching and looking for the features so what Microsoft have uh, did is there are so many um, role center pages which are shipped with the product based on the uh, activities which a, a user will do on his uh, um, based on his job role in the company so let's see uh, how I can change it uh, for uh, a account manager which is my role in my company the steps which I am about to show you uh, you might not have the permission to do them if that is the case you can contact your IT manager or the system admin uh, in your company and he'll get it done for you so for the for changing the role center page each user in navigation have a personalization 
so you can search for user personalization once you navigate it here you'll see your user ID and there is a profile ID attached to it which is right now is order processor and which applies to a particular company so I being a user uh, for this company in Navigen is a order processor which is a sales order processor so if I want to change it I can edit it using this button and this will pop up a uh, user personalization card from the profile ID I can select as you can see there are so many uh, profiles which are already created by Microsoft so let's say I'm um, accounting manager so I select the accounting manager and I click OK uh, just to make this uh, change happen I'll just re-log into the Navigen and my role center page will change based on the uh, standard accounting manager profile which is loaded by Microsoft into Navigen so as you can see my role center is popping up and the menus should be different from the sales order yes they are so now a accounting manager which is my role in my company uh, is actually care about what are the payments um, are there any document approvals uh, what are the journals that he have because uh, he'll post uh, the adjustment from there purchase sales and journals then he need to take care of fixed assets cash flows cost accounting he have some administration tasks like setups currencies uh, dimensions and all those stuffs so now my landing page has been changed and this um, may not be hundred percent but uh, somewhere around 60 to 70 percent I would say fit in uh, to my roles uh, in the company or my activities can be navigated easily without uh, you know searching it on the whole navigation system uh, most of time I got I got a question that can uh, we add or remove components from these roles center page uh, yes you can you can contact your uh, navigation partner uh, if you want to remove some of the action or if you want to add some more let's say queues or some more actions over here or in this bar so this all can be customized uh, from your Navigen partner on top of it if uh, suppose uh, all the role center page which are shipped with Microsoft uh, you still feel that some business areas that your company is following are missing out with their role center page uh, your Microsoft Dynamics Nav partner can help you with that and he can create the new role center page for you based on the business activities that you follow in your company so uh, I hope you understand what is a role center page and how we can change it based on your role in your company stay tuned for more uh, keep watching please put your comment on the video below uh, thank you for watching